HeyBroadway.com. Welcome to another week of Miracle Man. I'm excited to share with you some more backstage secrets here at Motown the Musical. So, here we go. Okay, Broadway.com. Here we are at the Broadway Flea Market, and we are trying to sell some stuff for BCEFA. Um, we're at the Motown booth. I'll give you a little preview of that. Here we are. There's our lovely Krisha helping to set up our Motown booth. Say hi, Krisha. Hi. <laughs> Um, We're doing, so, good. We're doing really, really good today. He's selling yes. himself for fifteen dollars. What's that? You're selling yourself for fifteen. I'm selling myself for fifteen dollars. I'm selling myself for fifteen dollars. So Charles here for pictures. He's selling them for fifteen dollars a photo. Yes, fifteen dollars a photo. Right. Anything for the cost. All right. So we got a lot of stuff here. So just come around on the other side. All right. I'm gonna go take a picture. So here we are, I'm about to take a picture with a fan. Say hi. I'm Lindsay, hi. And I think this is a good time for our fan feature of the week. We're gonna do it here at the Broadway Flea Market. So Ooh. what's your name? I'm Lindsay, singer from New Jersey. Yeah, and uh, why did you come out to the flea market today? Because I've seen every show this season. It's the best season ever and I love all of them. It is a really good season. It really is. All right, well, she just paid $15 to take a picture, so we're gonna go ahead and do that, all right? Woo, very excited, <laughs> love Motown. Yay. Yay. Okay, we have another fan here. We're gonna do two fan features today. So this is my friend Connor, who I just met, who says he watches my vlog all the time. Say hi, Connor. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? How you doing? All right, so where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. Okay. Hillsboro, yeah. What represent. brings you out to the flea market today? Um, just a lot of different events, you know, just meeting my favorite stars, like Charles here. <laughs> Uh, just like buying some new stuff. Cool, did collection. you get anything cool yet today? I got a really cool uh, Avenue Q jacket. Nice, yeah. nice. Oh. Whoa. Oh, man. All right. So yeah, but <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right, there's our second fan feature of the day. Okay, Broadway.com. Here we are backstage at the Lump Fontaine in the North Hallway. It is our leading man, Brandon Victor Dixon's birthday today. So we kind of have a little surprise birthday party for him. Here, I'll show you what we got going. First of all, here's his cake. Happy birthday, Brandon. And we have a little banner. We have it all decorated for him. We got his headshot. <laughs> also, I'm back here with the of lovely course, Morgan James. Just me and Charles. Just here. the two of us. We are ready to eat. We're ready to eat. We're patiently waiting. We just left the flea market. We rushed over here for the birthday. And of course, That's everyone's right. running late. So, anyways, I will show you the outcome a little bit later, but. This is the setup. Oh, that's funny. What are you doing? I swear, no. What are those candles, Andrea? I believe I was Not tea lights. I don't know what happened to the candles. Oh, my God. Corner kick. Okay. Go get the knife. It's good. It's a whole throwback weekend, by the way. Are we ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear brother. Happy birthday to you. Make your wish. It's a long wish. <laughs> yeah, he won a lot. That's a long Yay! Okay, there's some foolishness and mayhem going on now. I think they are picking out Vangeli, one of our beloved dressers here. Vangeli, come show. Vangeli, where are you? Where is he? What'd y'all do? We picked we out his hair. Oh! It looks like a wig. <laughs> it looks like a wig. <laughs> Chris, 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 Chris,
That's stupid. <laughs> that is his real. That's a, no. What is that? A Greek fro? That's a Greek fro. That's a Greek fro. So oh, Van Gelly. Always spoolish just my hand back here. <laughs> hey, Broadway.com. Here we are in the middle of Times Square. I'm about to head inside right now to record a song for Motown's um, contribution to Carols for a Cure. Every year. Um, the Broadway community gets together and we record a Christmas album to be sold for uh, Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. And um, the name of the album every year is called Carols for a Cure. So I actually am singing um, one of the lead parts on Motown's song this year. So I'm about to head in to record that. So here we go. Hey Broadway.com, so we're in the studio here with the fabulous Mr. Jason Michael Webb. Say hi, Jason. Hey, y'all. He record. He wrote our song for the Motown, Carol's for a Cure. So we're in the studio. We're about to go into the booth and make some magic happen for Christmas. And this is Lynn Pinto. This is She's Lynn. the creator and producer of the project. Yes, yes. of the project. Very so you, prestigious. I'm making copies. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when it comes out, everyone has to go out there and buy Carol's for a Cure. Yeah, it's yeah. for a great cause. So we're going to head into the studio now. Here's the booth. Okay. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, Broadway.com. So here's something that you guys may or may not know about. So we have um, a wonderful fellow gypsy from the Broadway community community who does this great thing. What it is is called Spoon Fed. And what he does is he comes to all the Broadway theaters on a two show day, which is today, and he will make these delicious meals here and then our uh, cast members, like Jaron here, okay. <coughs> can purchase something to eat before the show. So what do we got here today? We got mm -hmm. country fried steak mm -hmm. and egg plant pasta. What else one? Herb, <laughs> chicken tenders. And what's that? Oh, another country fried steak. Ooh, and I might have to get some of that. What is that? Yeah, that's the banana pudding. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, that's the joint right there. I'm getting that. So that's from Spoonfed. Here's Nicholas Christopher, still trying to get on the camera. Hey, don't nobody want to see him. But there he is. <laughs> <laughs> so Jaren, Jaren got his food. He's ready to Delicious. go upstairs. I'm ready. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. It's time to <laughs> this is hey, my blog. That is our fearless dance captain. Dion Figgins. How you what do you have going today? What do I have on today? Okay. I Every have, day is something. I have on my BC. No, wait a minute. These are, these are actually Vera Wang. Oh, oh, oh. Wang boots. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got a nice BB jacket, a little mm -hmm. H&M flavor. I got these at Rainbow. Dion every single day has on a different look. Like as if she's on the runways of New York every single day. I try. I try. <laughs> so you go ahead. It's not like I'm on the deck every day. So somebody's got to get dressed. You about to um, get ready to warm up the little boys? Um, I am about to get ready to warm up those little Michael Jacksons. Yeah, she does not warm up with boys. them every day. Oh, <laughs> All right. I'm ready. I thought I'm fresh and young. Yeah, you fresh know. and young. She is a beautiful dancer herself oh, with fierce you. training. So we let her warm up the kids. Yes. So. <laughs> And there's Ariana DeBose going by. Say hi, Broadway.com. Hello, hello Broadway.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with a layout. Uh, all right, we're going to go and finish getting ready for the show, but I just want to show you what goes on down here near the cardboard. Uh, beautiful oh. spoon fan. Hey, Broadway.com. So I'm here with one of our fabulous choreographers, Patty Wilcox, yeah. and her team. This is our dance captain, Jamal. Hey. And that is Brian, our Brian. associate choreographer. Uh -huh. So, Patty, what does it mean to you, or what is the approach you took to um, creating the legendary movement in Motown the Musical? Well, first of all, we wanted to pay homage to everybody that came before us, and there's a great responsibility to also pay it forward and yet have our own artistic vision for it. So uh, it was it was really great to find the, the, the moves within the characters and also be able to uh, capture the essence and uh, the time periods because it spans so many years from the 30s to the 80s. That's right. And these two gentlemen have the responsibility of keeping her choreography intact on us. So how is it rehearsing with the casts? I'm um, at our rehearsals. Like. Well, it's a great experience. I mean, it's, you know, it's a fun cast. It's a great group of people. Uh, it's always very lively. And I think everybody is oh. committed to whatever aspect of this legacy they are the most familiar with. That, you know, whatever research people did, whatever homework, whatever videos people watched, yeah. they bring all of that information to the steps that, that she and Warren have given and, and that, you know, we are here to maintain. And so that makes it easier. Yes, absolutely. And we're all thrilled to be a part of it and to get to do the legendary moves. Unfortunately, Smokey wasn't the most dancing person <laughs> in the show, but I do get a couple of moments here and there. Well, thanks to me. And do it beautifully. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> do. I think all of the principals in our show, like yeah. all of the actors in the show bring, like Jamal said, 
their own energy and their own memory of Motown to the movement, and then they bring the movement to life in a really authentic way, but taking it to the next level. It's what Barry Gordy would have had Motown be if he could have made it be anything, because these are trained professionals that nobody had to train. So we could take the groundwork that was laid before us, like Patty said, and take mm -hmm. it to the next level. So it's, it's quite a pleasure to do that deal. Yeah. Absolutely. And when you have those kinds of talented people. Like yourself. Like Charles. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys for your time. I appreciate it. Um, and I will see you all very soon. Patty's got to head back over to Janis Joplin, which is fantastic. We saw the other night. It's great. <laughs> all right, Broadway.com. It's been another fun week here backstage at Motown the Musical. Hope you enjoyed episode five. Say bye, Broadway.com, everybody. Bye, Broadway.com. Bye. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye. bye. bye.